Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Ego Fanelo Ngu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelo Ngu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0, our podcast Diving in with Funny and Jesse, our Patreon funny and jesse you can find the links to everything that i've mentioned in the description box today so a big shout out to the person that suggested this and a big shout out to the um people that keep on subscribing and have already subscribed if you haven't feel free to subscribe so today we're going to be reacting to what hijab day led me to islam ashley pearson and without wasting time let's get into the video assalamu alaikum my name is ashley and I have been thinking about making this video for so long. So I wanted to share the story of how I found Islam converted because I get asked so much. So I converted in June of 2019. So at this point, it's been just a little bit over a year, alhamdulillah. Um, it's been quite a journey. And for some people, it looked like my journey was one month. But for me, I think it probably started when I was in college. Um, so I guess I could start there and that's usually where I start. But for those of you who, you know, most of you probably don't know me. So I did wanna say I have grown up in the United States um, in the state of Arkansas. So a Southern state where, you know, we kind of live in what we call the Bible Belt. So Christianity is, very big a lot of people go to church um and then where i grew up it's predominantly white people and you go to church and you don't learn about a lot of religions you don't have a lot of um experience i guess with the outside world you could say so when i went to college is really when i got exposed to people of like other cultures and even people of color to be honest um so crazy to like I guess talk about it um it typically is a topic of conversation when i tell people where i grew up so if you want to google it i grew up in harrison arkansas so i went to college and when i was i believe a sophomore maybe a junior um it's all kind of a blur all the semesters kind of run together um when you like look back so i saw a flyer for a program and they partner American students with international students. And I thought that that would be really cool, um, just like a fun experience, meet a new friend, learn something, be able to teach them something. And so it is a mentorship program where you were only required to speak with them like once a week or so, you know, you can email back and forth or meet up. So I remember going into this classroom and I think was bigger than they expected because it was a little chaotic so eventually we were all sitting in these desks and they kind of had the American students on one side international students on the other and I remember I was looking around the room trying to you know just kind of get a feel for everything and I looked back and there was a girl sitting there um, there were two girls wearing hijab talking and I thought that's her that's my partner I just know it is so at one point the woman kind of running the show um, is having people stand up and partnering them and I can tell like she's gonna be really close to um, standing up at the same time I am so when I saw her get ready to stand up I stood up and the lady paired us together and um, my partner was in grad school um, originally from Saudi Arabia and um, we became really good friends so I got to spend about two years or so with her and learned so much so we taught each other a lot and you know looking back I don't really remember talking about religion a whole lot. Um, that was not ever really just the main topic. I think I asked maybe a couple of questions and I did see if we went out to eat together, I remember someone staring at her and at first I thought, why are they staring at us? And then I realized it's because of her hijab. And I just, I always wanted to stick up for her and I wanted to be there for her. So eventually when, um, we graduated so I graduated with my bachelor's and then she graduated with her master's um, just a day apart so she left and then that following January I was in grad school 
and the night before World Hijab Day, so World Hijab Day is February 1st every year, so the night before I find out about it, right, so I just, I think Facebook, so I decided to take part in World Hijab Day, so I watched YouTube videos, and it's so funny to me looking back because I think one of the first videos I ever watched was by Lena Snowbar. Her handle is with lovely. I took an infinity scarf I had from my closet. I practiced, and it's so funny because looking back now, I actually reached out to um, somebody who had converted, and I said, hey, does this look okay? And she said, yeah, that looks great. So I did my best to recreate it the next morning, and I remember reaching for the door handle to leave my apartment, and I hesitated, and I thought, I've never hesitated before. Um, I've been self-conscious about, you know, outfits and things like that and getting ready and, you know, how my hair looked. And I thought, I don't know how I'm going to be treated today. Um, but I was kind of trying to prepare myself to um, handle anything that came at me, I guess you could say. So I did get some funny looks because I was a graduate assistant, so I did have a job on campus. And so everybody's like, you know, what are you doing? And then some people were like, oh, I wish I had known so I could participate too. So um, I had a really good day. I posted on social media and got a lot of positive feedback, especially from other Muslims. They really appreciated it. So I really threw myself into certain research about World Hijab Day and I wanted to become an ambassador. So that following year, I became an ambassador. I think that was 2017. And I ended up moving to um, a larger area, um, larger city but still kind of small for Arkansas but um, I worked on a college a different college campus so I actually attended their day and kind of hung around with them wore it again and then um, the next year so 2018 I said I want to hold my own event in the city so I had told some girls at the at the college or at the university that I wanted to hold this event so they said something to some women at the mosque who got in contact with me and said hey we want to help you so when we had a we had a little meeting and I remember I went to a small mosque um, that's kind of used for like classes and things like that and I, I, I go in and I talked to this man and I told him who I was waiting for. He went back in a room because he was doing something. He comes back out and he offers me a snack and he shows me where the restroom is. And I come back out from the restroom and he offers me a piece of pie. And he kept like, you know, just going back and forth like he wanted to talk to me, but he wasn't sure. And at one point he said, here you go. And he gives me a calendar with like pictures of mosques. And I thought, well, that's really cool. And then he handed me like two Qurans and I was like, cool, I can read these and like maybe, you know, that'll help me be a better advocate and be more understanding of Islam. And he sat down next to me and was talking at one point and there were more, more people starting to gather in for the meeting. And before we started the meeting, he said, you know, the way that the media portrays our religion and he, he mentioned that and some other things he said, it's just, it's just the most misunderstood religion. And that really stuck with me you know I thought I need to learn things for myself for sure and so at the meeting the women agreed to help me and then they said we're gonna go visit. we visit churches for World Hijab Day and give the women scarves and teach them about it and so they do a lot of interfaith events so we helped each other out and when it was all over World Hijab Day was done I said I'm gonna miss you guys so maybe during Ramadan I can come and visit you at the mosque and I knew that World Hijab Day did a 30-day hijab challenge. And I just thought, that's a lot. And I, I just don't know if I can do it because I didn't want to put it on and try and then fail, to be honest. Um, so I thought about it for a while. I had a few months um, because Ramadan was in, I think, April that year. And... Um, I decided to do it and I thought if I'm going to do the 30 day hijab challenge and I'm going to visit them at the mosque, I might as well fast as well. So I wore the hijab as much as I could out and about. I, I let work know, hey, I'm going to be wearing this. And I was at the mosque almost every night. There were a couple of nights I couldn't go because of work because I was traveling at the time. And I noticed about a week or so in maybe two weeks. As I was learning more, I could feel this change happening. 
and no one ever pushed me or anything. They just said, hey, if you have any questions, let us know. Or if something was going on that maybe I wouldn't have known why it was happening or what it was exactly, somebody would offer up the information. And I eventually asked my friend to teach me how to pray. And I was like reading the Quran. I would get up for Sahur and like watch people's stories. And I was like trying to learn about Islam. And that Lena came back around. Um, the women from the Salam Girl podcast. I discovered them. And so there was just so much going on. I, you know, I was learning so much and I was just really trying to dive into it. And I wanted to be a better advocate it was really what my goal had been. But by the end of it, I was really falling in love with the religion. So one night, I'm at the mosque, it's toward the end of Ramadan, everyone's praying and I'm watching and I'm reading the Quran and I was actually um, still toward the beginning of the Quran when um, God is actually speaking to Mary about Jesus and having a baby. And I thought it was so cool, all of the parallels between like Christianity and Islam, since I had a Christian background. And I remember a woman came up to me and some people were very surprised that I wasn't Muslim already. Um, they said I wore the hijab well and they had seen me there so often. And I really appreciated <laughs> the compliments about the hijab. Um, but she asked me, she said, why do you hesitate? And I thought about it for a second and I thought, I don't know. I really don't know what's holding me back anymore because I had fought myself a little bit, you know? My family's not Muslim, it's a huge life change, but I just felt this overwhelming sense of peace. Something, this just a peace that I hadn't really felt before because with Christianity, I went to church off and on. We didn't start going to church until I was 12. And then throughout college, it was off and on kind of. And when I moved to the city on my own, I tried again and something always felt like it was missing. And so I said, I'm gonna take my Shahada. So I text one of my friends um, and I let her know. So I did it the last day of Ramadan. And it's, it's <laughs> there's hardly any words to describe how amazing it is. Even just sitting here talking about it. It's been amazing and I'm so grateful. Allah has blessed me tremendously and I wouldn't change a thing so that's pretty much my story um, I welcome any questions in the comments maybe I didn't really talk about something I will say um, since I converted I just ended up not taking my hijab off and I think the hijab was kind of one of those things that helped like I got very comfortable and to me like to me, the hijab helps me remember Allah, which is so important. And it reminds me of my faith and it's an outward appearance of my faith. And then, you know, modesty is important too. Um, I enjoy um, just everything. I love my hijab, like I can't imagine not having it and, and being Muslim, I can't imagine that. So. My family, I know I'll get this question too, so I'll go ahead and answer it. How did your family respond? <laughs> so, um, I think that they were all a little surprised and thrown off. Um, they offered some support. I noticed later that that support wavered a bit. Um, I know it's confusing. So I do, of course, visit them for their holidays like Christmas. You know, I'm there to support them and then you know they know when i'm fasting and things like that so there's still a lot of obstacles and learning on both sides but for the most part um i've had just such a really great community anyway um and i definitely threw myself in um to like classes to like learn arabic and i went to sun I, i've gone to sunday school so it's there's always going to be so much to learn about and I'm trying to kind of take my family on that journey with me as much as I can without overwhelming them but alhamdulillah I just I found this beautiful religion and I'm so grateful for it so again please go ahead and drop some comments below um I'd love to know if you guys want to know more um and follow me on this journey as I continue so thanks for watching she's pretty and has pretty eyes um, my life, how her story started, this, this is all I say 
or not say rather i always think that experience is the best um teacher you can't expect to understand how zambians operate if you've never interacted with zambians you can't expect to understand how people from middle east are if you've never been or come across a person from the middle east it's like food you can never really know how indian food tastes unless you test it you can't know how zambian food tastes unless you test it you have to experience something for you to maybe understand this is why i admire how she came across other people through that international class thing she had going on we have to put ourselves out there in the world and saying put out yourself out there but i'm quite shy you really have to um interact with people from other nationalities be it it doesn't matter just interact with people from people that you think are different from you, you end up finding out that you're actually the same also her journey was very very nice i didn't even know um what hijab day existed that's something i want to try out as well otherwise i really had no idea hopefully i remember this on the first of february otherwise this was very 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 nice very nice and it's nice that she after she had a friend that was wearing hijab she felt inspired to even become an advocate that speaks volumes for itself you don't you're not a muslim but you really want to be an advocate advocate for muslims that's that's brave very very brave a big shout out to her and a big shout out to the person that suggested this if you've got any videos that you want me to you have to let me know by dropping a link in the comment section below and i'll do it for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video